Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman, back for the 270 video. Today, I'll be playing as Abraham Lincoln, taking on a Donald Trump and a Candace Owens in a three-player match. Now, I typically don't like three-player matches, but I saw that there were two Republicans in the lobby, and I wanted to be Lincoln, who is also a Republican. Um, he can play like a Democrat, but in this specific video, I'm going to be talking about a specific strategy called the hangman strategy. You may have heard this term before, um, just like you play the game hangman, where you draw a little stick man and guess what the word is, and if you miss it, you add different body parts. That is what this is. So um, I did zero turn on um, turn number one, zero spin on turn number two. I'm going to go ahead and go into all of the swing states that are also the manufacturing state. So this is a great strategy to do with most Republicans. It's my favorite strategy to do with John F. Kennedy because um, he plays like a Democrat and has all these bonuses, but these two bonuses, swing and manufacturing, are more Republican. So if you can get those, you can really pivot almost anywhere. So on turn number three, I'm going to go to the third pip on Wisconsin, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and North Carolina. I'm also going to open up in Illinois and, and Michigan, but unfortunately, we did have clashes in both of Michigan and Illinois. So what I'm going to do is I have the swing state bonus, but I'm not being pressured anywhere. So I'm going to open up in Arizona, Iowa, and New Hampshire, um, three swing states that are also town and gown states. And I'm going to zero spin so I can possibly go into New York and get that town and gown bonus later on. So kind of a pivot, but the main strategy is still to get the manufacturing through Illinois and Michigan. If this was a 1v1, I would have opened up in Indiana and Kentucky to kind of guarantee that bonus. But since it's not, I'm going to pressure in some of the old South states, open up into New York and the town and gown states. Now, um, Trump unfortunately goes to the fourth pip in Illinois, and so that will delay the manufacturing bonus, even though we are successful in Michigan. Big clash in New York. Kind of sets Candace Owens back more so than us. She looks like she's working toward the high-tech bonus. And so I'm already kind of clashing in New York. I don't need New York. Um, I'm going to pivot to just Indiana and Kentucky. And then depending on what Trump does, I'll have my... Um, swing state money saved. He does defend in Illinois. We are not facing pressure in Indiana and Kentucky and New Hampshire flips. Now, big clash in New York. Um, this time, Trump in Owens. So um, I'm going to finish off Arizona because right now, Candace Owens just wasted 300K across two turns. Um, and then if I can be successful in stealing Illinois, I won't need Indiana and Kentucky. Um, I could have gone up there, but I Ran out of time a little bit just to guarantee I'd get the bonus, um, but should be successful either way. Yep, we did steal Illinois. So that's the manufacturing bonus. So that's the hangman. That is getting the manufacturing bonus without the state of Texas. If you have all of the states, um, you can you know not have one state. Um, keep in mind that Wisconsin. Indiana and Kentucky are a little bit different because they are cheaper. And so if you, like, for example, if you have Texas, you need all three of those states to get the bonus. So what I'm going to do now is just use my manufacturing to pip up into Indiana or in Kentucky, just in case I lose Michigan, which I do not. And then I'm going to relatively low spend. That will set myself up to where I can triple pip into New York. That will allow me to get the town and gown bonus. Oh, no. Okay, so... I did have New Hampshire stolen from me. So I'm going to defend Michigan, and I'm not too worried about town again at this time. Um, I could have opened up in Utah, but I did decide to enter into Florida. So I have that swing money that's just sitting there. Why not use it to attack in Florida? Um, Donald Trump does go into Texas, which is generally a good play, but he doesn't have any bonuses affiliated, and I have my manufacturing. I'll easily be able to overtake him. So, uh, man, these one-minute timer games are super fast. Um, I did not even get to spend uh, my turn, so that was super frustrating. Luckily, it wasn't consequential, and now I have $1.55 million. I'm going to defend New York. Um, go up in Colorado and New Mexico, looking to see where else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter into Texas and then flip Louisiana. I could flip Florida. 
Yeah, I'll just flip Florida. Okay, so there goes the time. That's turn 11. We're now facing pressure in Colorado, but I'm going to skip so I have more time. I take the Old South bonus away from Donald Trump. And so we have 239 electors. We have five state bonuses, well over a million dollars in cash. I'm going to defend New Mexico in Colorado, probably from Candace Owens. I'm going to pip up in, in Georgia and in Texas. I will not overtake him in Texas, will not risk a clash this turn. And I'm going to end my turn. It's turn number 12. We have quite a few EVs locked in. Uh, we do have another clash in Colorado, New Mexico. It might delay a ballot. That, along with the fact that Nevada and Montana, Idaho, Alaska are not entered into yet. Um, so again, I'm just kind of posturing for the ballot. I'm going to see if I can win on the first ballot round. Um, we already have 267 electors, so let's go ahead and just fill some of those in. Make sure I'm in some in states. Flip Nebraska. I didn't even use my manufacturing, my African-American. Lots of money here, so let's skip the timer. Clash in New Mexico, but we did go ahead and get Colorado. So I'm going to steal New Mexico with my swing state money. I'm going to use my um, town and gown. I'm going to use my export. I'm going to use my African-American. I really can't use my African-American in many places. Um, Old South, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma. Take Hurry, two seconds. Okay, so I didn't even use my... African American or my manufacturing or my old South or export all the way, but um, that's okay. I just want to make sure that um, we do hold Iowa. Idaho does flip though. Um, we lose Montana. So you might not win on a ballot unless I can hold a couple states. There goes. We didn't. Okay, we didn't lose Oregon. Someone else did. So we're fine. That's 289. So that is the hangman strategy. Those states in the Midwest are super valuable, and they can lead to you getting bonuses for Texas before your opponent does, and then you can attack them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more 270 content. Until next time, this is Brendan Borman saying thank you and have a great day.